Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have another word for you guys. Yes, I do. And this is in Malachi. This is Malachi chapter 3. It's a verse. I mean, excuse me. It's chapter 2. The last verse, which is 17. 2 and 17. And then a verse. I mean, then chapter 3. And then I'm um, not sure if I'm going to read all of 4 or just do those two last verses in 4. We'll see. But, you know, whatever. All right. So... Malachi chapter 2 verse 17 ye have wearied the Lord with your words yet ye say wherein have we wearied him when ye say everyone that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord and he delighteth in them or where is the God of judgment so when you say God delights in evil or when you say where is the God of judgment at all smart and strength God said hold on let me show you let me, let, let me show you let me show you where to go. Right. God, but God, say, let me show you where to go. I don't love you, baby. Right. So, we're going to start with chapter 3 now. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? Who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver. And they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. That's the key. Offer an offering unto the Lord in righteousness. Be a righteous man offering the Lord Jesus or offering God, the Heavenly Father, a offering. The offering must be righteous from a righteous person. God said, why you shitty people keep trying to give me stuff? Be easy. Right. Back up. Right. So the key is to give an offering to the Lord in righteousness, right? Be righteous and give it in righteousness. Exactly, right. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, as in the former years. So when the righteous give an offering, he wants to feel like he felt when he first established Jerusalem, right? The tribe of, excuse me, the nation of Israel, right? When he dedicated the tribes back to himself right he wants to fill those days yet again because jesus is the what the high priest is oh jesus <laughs> jesus is what the high priest right <laughs> jesus is the high priest he is the lion of judah not my husband right my husband is a priest and an alpha lion but he is not the lion of judah or the high priest correct so, we are talking about Jesus in this chapter, right? This is the coming, the promise of Jesus' birth, right, in the New Testament. Because Malachi is the last book before the New Testament, correct? Just had to make sure I always check myself. I ain't perfect, right? I don't want to be. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old and as in the former years. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against the false swearers and against those who oppose the hireling and his wages and the widow and the fatherless and those that turn aside the strange from his right and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. He says, so those who are adulterers, sorcerers, false swearers mean you lie. You swear, I swear I seen so-and-so. I swear I seen so-and-so do it. I swear I ain't do it, right? You're lying, right? False swearers, those who oppress the hiring, knowing that this person, people should be making at least $20 an hour. Since I didn't like my 40. People should be making at least $20 an hour, and they're making like seven, eight, nine. Who can live off that? No one. That is a child's allowance. Exactly. And that, and though, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? And the widow and the fatherless. Right. But what do we say about the widow? Right. Exactly. Women aren't even getting married anymore. They're just having, they have deceased baby fathers. Right. No. We're not responsible for caring for you. Right. Care for yourself. Exactly. And then the widow is the one who is an older woman as well who cannot take care of herself. Who is up in age. Right. An elderly woman. Right. 
a overly seasoned woman who ain't working any longer because she can't, not because she don't want to. Right. That's a widow, and that's who we, we were mandated to care for. Right. Right. And I will come near you as the swift judge, right, to handle all of those situations that I just named, right? All those people who are against these types of people, all these people who are those types of people. God said, I'm coming against you, right? Right, so this is the sense of the people. For I am the Lord, I change not. And therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Right, he said, uh-uh, I don't change. I do not change. Sons of Jacob, you're not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. He said, you sons of Jacob, you tricksters, right? Because remember, Jacob, a.k.a. Israel, was a trickster when he was Jacob. So as a trickster as Jacob, there were children born, is Ishmael. Ishmael was a child, wait, nope, sorry, wrong child, <laughs> wrong people, right, Jacob <laughs> was a trickster, yeah, that was wrong, yeah. yeah, that was his granddad, right, there was a trickster, oh, uncle, great uncle, there was a trickster, right, yes, Ishmael is Isaac's, um, excuse me, Ishmael was, um, Jacob's great uncle, right, or great great uncle, great uncle, right? Trickster. So he came from trickster blood, right? Ishmael wasn't supposed to be here, right? Sarai was what? Triven out, right? And had Abraham have a child with a woman who didn't want a child with Abraham, and Abraham didn't want a child with that woman neither, right? And that's why Sarai was tripping, right? And that's why Sarai died before Abraham, right? Stop tripping over wanting children with your husband. Stop tripping over wanting something from your husband he can't supply at that time. Or if he can't supply at all. Your husband work at a phone company. But you want a Mercedes Benz. You better get you. That Nissan, Ultima, and Hush. You got to ride. It's clean. It's new. Hush. Right. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, right? Return unto me, right? Because at this current time, you are not one of you, not me right now. You know how you imagine kids, you don't want to do with them for a little while when they're older? Your kid started smelling themselves, and now they talking to you in the old kind of way and swearing up and down, they don't need you to tell them nothing no more. And so you don't want to deal with them for about a week or so, right? Right. Or maybe even longer. Exactly. Right. So he said, y'all need to get up on my face for I hurt y'all. Because Jacob was a trickster and you had that trickster blood in you. You had that trickster blood in you. You are a descendant of Jacob. You have trickster blood in you. And I'm not having it. Right. He said, go on from around my face. Right. And you will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But he said, when shall we return? Right. <clears throat> so God said, get up on my face. And they're like, well, when can we come back? You ain't left yet. Get up out of here. Right. No. Why are you worried about when can you come back? And you haven't even left to go learn your lesson. Right. You want to be back in God's face. And you ain't even left to go learn your lesson yet. God said, go sit down somewhere. Out my face so I can calm down. And you said, well, when can I come back? And that's why God be like, never. Right. Will a man rob God? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ye have robbed me. But <laughs> he said, where have we robbed God? In tithes and offerings. Right. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be me in my house. And prove me now, prove me now, here with saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out the blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive. He said, y'all out here stealing from me. God said, y'all stealing my money. You stealing my goods. You stealing my time. You stealing my peace, my patience. God said, you just stealing anything that belonged to me. You still in my air. You still in my water. You still in all my resources. But you ain't giving me nothing back. You ain't giving me no praise. You ain't taking care of the widows. You ain't taking care of the fatherless. At this current time, we ain't taking care of widows and fatherless. He just means taking care of your community, period. Taking care of your children, period. Taking care of your, your sick elderly mother and father without complaining about it. Taking care of your handicapped child and not being upset about it. You had that child. That's your child, right? Now I didn't ask for a handicapped kid. Guess what? You got one. Take care of your child like you would if they weren't handicapped. Because guess what? If you're treating a child like crap because they're handicapped, it wouldn't matter whether they were handicapped or not. You would have got bored with that other child anyway and had more children. Right. Right. Children are not toys. Right. But people treat children like they're toys. So I need a new one because I'm bored with this one. 
mm, this one's not as cute as I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to have me another baby. Ooh, that one's real cute. I'm going to have another one. Mm, let me have another one. Right. Right. Oh, someone's supposed to have a baby. Let me get pregnant. Ease up. Back up. Stop asking for stuff. You don't even want to take care of what you got. You don't appreciate what you got. And the stuff you do got, you don't even know what to do with it the correct way. So you are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me even in this whole even this whole nation, God said. Verse 11. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before time in the field, said the Lord. So God told even me. I don't care how much you scream out and cry. I don't care how much you people get on your nerves. I don't care. There's a set time for you to receive everything you are supposed to receive, dear Davinia. You won't get it beforehand. Right. Sit, chill, teach. Try and watch TV. Right. Whatever you can watch. You know, play video games and all that other stuff. Do you. Right. Do you. But until I say you can be released to go where you're supposed to be. Right. Right. I have to make sure you will be totally safe where you're going. So, right. Have a seat, tips. Right. So even I don't get what I want, just as I scream and holler. I am God's top dog under Michael in the war game. So, right, <laughs> right, verbal word. <laughs> mm -mm, not, not, mm, whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying. But I am, right, under Michael in, in this game, right. Well, I told you, Jesus is a lover, not a fighter. The being is a fighter, right. So, it doesn't matter what I want. Until God tells me I can have it. I've done so much work. God says, you, you, did, you graduated. So now I'm like, well, where's my car? You said I was going to get. Don't question me. You graduated, right? I said I was going to get you a car, right? All right, then. I said I was going to get you a car before you went to college, right? I don't want to hear it. Wait a minute. <laughs> right. When is college? Right. In August, where you going? Right. So with that being stated, uh, right, um, it ain't nowhere near August. I said, I'm going to get your car. I don't care if I get it the day before. Right. So God said, be easy. Ease up off me. Right. You get it when I say you get it. Right. But as long as you earned it, understand it shall come. I am God. I don't lie. Right. I'm just not on your timeline. Right. Your words have been sought against me, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against thee? Right. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go back up. And I will rebuke the devourer for thy sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before time in the field. So nobody can destroy anything that God has established. Nobody can destroy anything that you have established if God put it in you to do so. Right? If God has blessed the work of your hand, nobody can destroy your work. Exactly. And all nations shall call you blessed. Right? And ye shall be delightsome. <clears throat> excuse me. And ye shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Verse 13, your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. Ye, yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against thee? Ye have said, it is vain to serve God. What profit is it that we have kept his ordinances, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? And now we call the proud happy, yea, and that the work of the wicked, wickedness are set up. Yea, that they tempt God are even delivered. Right. Yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. Then they that feared the Lord spake, often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him, for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteousness and the, excuse me, and then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. God said, you will be able to discern between who is wicked and who is righteous. He said, y'all not stupid. Y'all know who wicked and who righteous, but you choose to serve the wicked and you choose to be wicked, but you want to act like you're righteous. God said, I don't, y'all don't believe in me. God said, y'all do not believe in me. You don't. You, you're being wicked, but you're playing righteous. God said, you do not believe in me. He said, you are proud and you are happy. You are calling the proud happy. No, proud people are not happy. Proud people are very wicked people. Proud people set people up. Right. Proud people are made proud by followers. Right. That's why I said I don't want nobody following me. Right. There's no followers over here. Supporters, cool. Followers, no. Because I'm not the latest. Right. I am the greatest. Right. Ooh, sugar. Right. So, ye have said it is vain to serve God. And what profit it? is it that we have kept his ordinances so god is like hold up now my people getting restless 
These, hold up. Hold up. These, these, these supposed to be my people, but they getting restless. Why should I serve God? I ain't seeing nothing now. Why should I continue to serve God and do what God said? I ain't seeing nothing and he ain't giving me nothing. Did you take chapter 10 test? Or did you just get up and walk away from it? Right. That's why he ain't giving you nothing. Right. So what I say, God don't fail you. You fail yourself. Thank you. Chapter 4. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and as excuse me, as an oven and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. He said, Hansel and Gretel, Hansel and Gretel coming, Hansel and Gretel coming. That which put them put put Hansel in that oven. He said, Well, I'm putting Hansel and Gretel in the oven. I'm gonna turn it on. We're gonna have us a nice little turkey bake. Right. Right. And it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Right. So let me reread that. Chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither nor root nor branch. So God said, I told you, always dig up the root. Always dig up the root. Do not let something regerminate. Do not let it regerminate. Do not let it re-root. Do not let it take root. Right. He says, when I tell you to destroy something, you dig up that root, you burn it up, and you put some lime down in that hole. I meant I don't want it to come back. Right. Right. But unto you that fear my name, but unto you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness arise with the healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the, as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, said the Lord of hosts. He said, you're going to be walking around, tap dancing all over these people's ashes like they unseasoned salt on salty salt right what do you say what is salt with no flavor it's no good you just throw it back to the earth and let it be right what did he do to Sodom and Gomorrah he changed it into salt right he changed everybody in their pillars of salt right anybody that looked back at it got changed in the pillars of salt right so with that being stated he said this, these people will be like ashes under your feet you're gonna see a whole lot of piles of ash, ash and like mm -mm, keep it moving because that's the person that God destroyed right do not ask no questions. Verse 4. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in the Horeb of all Israel, and with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. He said, I will send you the prophet Elijah. Right. Before the dreadful, great and dreadful day. Guess what? Elijah already came. There was already a man named Elijah and Elisha. Right, there was an Elijah and an Elisha. Elisha was the protege of Elijah. He said here in verse 5, I will send Elijah before, before the great day. I am Elijah. Right, there are girls named Elijah too, by the way. I am Elijah, right. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. I have all said, back on 423.12, I said, Elijah's anointing. I believe I had this based on my love for restoring justice. Elijah was the great restorer. Isaiah was the great corrector. You cannot have correction without restoration. So I have come to correct and I have come to restore. I have not come to save. Do you hear me? You had to save yourself by listening to my correction. Right. You had to save yourself by listening to my correction. Right. And that would have restored you to where God needed you to be so that you can go on your journey. But no, I'm here to correct and restore other people's messes. Right. I have to restore the mess that took place in this earth. And I have done so. Right. I'm not fighting for small places who do not want to be restored. God said, leave those little places for me, a.k.a. America and those little islands that you run to that allow you to come over there. Because I told you, there are little islands that you can go to if you have negative energy. Right. God ain't that damn cruel right now. Right. He let people run back and forth and play games with each other. Right. But I said, stay out my skies and stay off my seas. Right. Right. So, with that being stated, there are places for people to run to. Right. If you can get there without dying now. Right. Because I told you. Right. But, um... You cannot have correction without restoration. Because correction is for restoration. Correction is to remove something negative to restore balance to restore equilibrium so elijah is here aka myself i am here to restore justice 
within this earth. And I have done so. I have rebalanced this earth the way I was supposed to justice card. So now the rest is on God to keep it balanced. I'm an Aquarius. I am a water bearer. I am not a Libra. I'm not supposed to keep things balanced. The Gemini is not supposed to keep anything balanced. So God is the great Libra right now. God is the great scale. God is came and sat on his throne and he is holding the scale in his hand like this, his damn self. Right. Wearing his reaper. Right. <laughs> oh, he said tell that joke. They get mad. And, and what is weed? It grows as an herb. Right. Thank you. Don't you go don't you don't don't you grow herbs in your yard naturally? Thank you. God said, I told you about judging. Go sit in your church. That you go to and judge every chick up in there. Go judge them chicks that's in your church. Go judge the dudes up that's in your church. Right. If you want to judge somebody, set up in them churches you go to first. Then come back to Divinia after you done cleaned out your churches. Amen. Have a great one.